surprise face there. YouTube said, you cannot go live. It's like, no. But here I am live just a few seconds later. <laughs> I love the in-jokes in the comments, guys. Um, yeah. The Lisa is number 71 because if she had to come on my live, she would have been the 71st viewer. So um, one day she didn't come on for various reasons and there was something said and Lisa will now forever be known as number 71. Now, um, Lisa has to use her best capital letters if she's giving me design advice because I apparently miss her comments completely in the last couple of videos. So I do apologize if I ever miss anyone's um, comments live uh, because I'm doing a thousand things at once when I'm live. I'm making sure everything's going, I'm crafting, I'm talking to you, I'm reading comments. I feel like I'm doing everything. So humble apologies if I do miss you. Hello, Miss Sheila. Long time no see. Everyone's coming in. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Ellen Woodbridge. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. We are on time, time restraints today. Hello, Lisa. I read that really well. <laughs> <laughs> hey Brenton, I will go back and say hi to everyone um, in a second. So um, Owen has taken a mental health morning um, this morning and I do need to drive him to school. <laughs> I do need to drive him to school um, to start his final period of the day at um, 1.30. So school starts at 1.30. So you've got to make sure I'm gone by quarter past at the latest. Okay, so I have shop links. Oh, awesome, Corinne. I haven't caught up with those comments yet. Um, so that's awesome. Thank you. Um if you need shop link for where is that in new south wales deborah i names kind of familiar geographically no idea physically where you are so please please tell me i'd love to know um shop link is in the description box below if you don't know how to get to the description box there is an arrow um there is an arrow or more information or I don't want to press the three dots on my screen to see what it does. But more info, the link is there. If you're watching live, the link is at the very, very... Oh, thank you, Brenton. Awesome. So you and Deborah are kind of neighbours and my husband, Deborah, grew up in Tumbarumba. So also not that far from you in the country sense. City sense, yeah, it's a it's about an hour. But yeah, there you go. Okay, so today I'm going very left of centre. I am grabbing out. Yes, I just dropped things on the floor. Oh, and I almost just slipped off my seat. Right, it's going to be this kind of video and I can't afford the time for it to be this kind of video. But anyway, 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 I grabbed out the stargazing paper and I want to do something cool with it. I want to cut out the stargazing paper with the patchwork pieces. So that's part one. Part two is... I have grabbed out the Holographic Trio specialty paper and the Just Wanted or Wanted to Say dies. So I'm thinking no stamp set today. I think we're going stamp set free and we're going dies and paper. That's where I am so far. And this card that I designed. I will be making a number of for something I've got on this weekend. They're my team swaps. I'm short on time and I thought I'm going to design team swaps with you. Yes, 
thank you, Cheryl. I do also have classes and they are not in the description. Hold on one second and I will add them to the description box because I have the power to do that. So I have a monthly class. Um, I did already have my in-person class this month and it is using the beautiful balloons bundle. So they're three of the four cards that I have done videos for. Not on that video. It must be on. Hmm, interesting didn't put on my last upload it must be on this video um ten dollars for class gets you four card making videos a project sheet with dimensions and four product list um and the videos are tutorial start to finish me making these three cards and one other um i don't have the cards on hand copy and I will bring it over to our chat so not oh yeah I will put it in the chat and I will also put it in the video description so just bear with me two seconds here while I go out of screen that is saved this is here so you can register I have just finalized all the videos this morning and I just have the project sheet to go um, and I plan on working on that this afternoon while while watching the American Survivor finale so that is my plan so let's flip around and get working on this card I have an idea in my head but will that eventuate i'm really not sure so who already has the stargazing paper and all the patchwork pieces because the patchwork pieces don't actually match anything in the catalog they are a stand alone um die set sorry i just need to move this out of the way whoops um a standalone die set uh which are sometimes really really fun to play with i think i've just zoomed way too far but let's have a look and then i will deal with the shadows actually that's pretty much perfect we're gonna leave this here i'll be back And while I'm standing up, I am going to grab my black cardstock because I definitely know I will be pairing this with black. Okay, so who is here today? Hello, Miss Marjean. So, uh, hello, Corinne, Cheryl, Donna, Lisa. Margaret, Kathy, Ida, Don, Dawn, um, Sheila, Brenton, Deborah, and I think that's about it that said hi. So if you are one of the 21 people currently watching and you haven't said hi, please make sure you say hi. Hello, Miss Marjean. Okay, so... <laughs> I am thinking because this paper is very galaxy and I have already pre-chosen the two pieces I want to use. So this piece is very regimented. I've recently done a card making my own like this before this came out. It was a hilarious video because my brain didn't engage. But because we're going galaxy spacey, I'm thinking the wavy lines are really, really going to work. Ah, oh, they're on your wish list. Hi, Doris. Welcome, welcome. Um, yes, yeah, so that's why I'm thinking of doing this. And I'm actually, I was initially thinking of mixing up two of the patterns. 
so just let me pop this to the side so what I was initially thinking and you can tell me if it's a good idea or not I was thinking of cutting two of these one out of our blue one out of our berry burst and I am going to check the colors in this over the page star gazing we have berry burst blackberry bliss blueberry bushel night of navy starry arts oh, tahitian tide and starry sky and then this is definitely a uh, berry burst one of my fave colors at the moment so do i mix them up or do i just cut it as one piece and slightly split it and mat it on the basic black i am going to do some dimensions while i'm here so i can cut the pieces out to the right size so this is if i cut it at eight and a half centimeters by 12 and a half eight and a half by 12 and a half i can do that while you guys give me your opinions i'm thinking i shall go this way do you know what i'm going to go 12 and a half no i'm going to go eight and a half then i feel like i am not wasting as much i need your answers otherwise i'm going to go the easy route <laughs> by 12 and a half whoops that's the scoring blade that's not gonna get me anywhere and by i think i do want some of that black 12 and a half and then I have this awesome piece that is just glowy white with some texture in it. But then I have these two moody pieces, which are great. Now, I am going to cut the blue anyway. And this one's going to be a bit different because it's got the diagonal... Um, the diagonal I think it's going to be different but we'll see because some of these may just be black by 12 and a half sorry I know I'm a bit off screen but our trimmer is quite tall Oh, so we've just got some blue, which I like. It's um, a bit different. Twelve and a half is there. So I'm actually keeping as much of the blue. So you can still see there is blue and black in the sky. And then I have this whole black piece as leftover. So hello rose how are you hello miss shirley from up the road an hour and a bit okay now i don't think this we're going to need our big machine big machine and i'm thinking using the wavy pattern i won't be wondering where the pieces go quite as much as the traditional patchwork piece okay so i think i'm just going to cut one of each and then we can see what we think um i think i do like darker on the top lighter on the bottom pop this on Crank through. Okay. Oh, 
look at that stitching it's glorious we do have like fluoro orange on the back not quite fluoro but you get my drift so I'm going to put all these pieces in a pile and we do have the die to use as reference so that is great to know that the die isn't going anywhere and this one I think I want light at the top and dark at the bottom so just little point of difference that if we do mix them up we'll get different looks hey Bev how are you so no one has a preference to mixing it up or not highly unhelpful hello Miss Lisa okay so can I no oh so pretty actually maybe it is looking a bit more blackberry bliss maybe um, let me go here trying not to get any of these edges bent because I do have quite an old plate here it's working well and it's super duper flat yet my top plate is totally bowed but don't worry about the top plate, top plate being bowed as long as my base plate Oh, you didn't think it would be there you go so I can show you the back of each of these patterns so we've got the orange on the blue and we've got the green so it almost looks like the surface of a um, of a planet I didn't show you all the patterns but I do have an unboxing video um, that you can go and have a look at what I created so then I've got this one just seeing what they look like mixed up they may look totally horrible no, I think it's no it must be this one. Oh, I don't think it's gonna work but we will keep going I don't think it's going to work like I thought. I think I'm just going to have different colorways. Um, this one, I'll keep going, but I'm I'm actually really not loving it at all. No, 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 no. Okay, so we said eight and a half by twelve and a half for our piece so then we can take oh that's a whole card base that may be useful <gasps> hello miss nina how are you how close are you and how close are you to mount gambia type area nina yes yes corinne definitely definitely my brain is already there so if i go nine although maybe the eight and a half will work now, if i go nine by 13 i'm winging this completely so I'm just happy to get one of these cards together with you all here and then I will be piecing the rest of them together. And do you know, if I was smart, I would have actually added adhesive sheet on the back of, those, back of these pieces. But as many of you know, my brain often doesn't 
engage ready for situations just like this um, this one appears to go there but I'm actually not liking the black let me just keep laying out and see I don't think the black is doing us any favors at all The black might look good with the blue, but it definitely does not with this. So that's that one. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Berry burst. Shouldn't be too far away because I only used it the other day. So what I'm going to do is just slide under. That does look better. So, so, so much better. Well, I'm adding the holographic. So I will be, yeah, that's that's my next port of call um, is the Blackberry. Because they were the two colours that I checked. Oh, Blackberry is now, I didn't have to stand up. Blackberry has gone from being a regal to being a neutral. So in all my in all my pieces, I have in all sorry, my cardstock is stored in colour family. So I have actually moved everything. But I'm thinking, Bev, we might be right. I don't know. I'm. Hmm. I'm already pre planning my next layers. What are we thinking? Obviously, this blackberry piece is like way too big. I'm thinking I'm going to zoom out a little bit. It is being tricky. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Charmaine. Well, there is no blue in this, which is why I didn't think of it. But now I'm looking at it on screen. It looks good. And then with the this matte or card base underneath, and then we're going to put our holographic sentiment, we'll go down in this area. So that will work. Sorry, I just need to zoom out a titch for you all you like it margin awesome thank you just you like this too okay well let's go with this then okay now, I'm just going to keep this piece as it is, and then I think I'll trim it down once we have stuck things. So, oh God. Oh, the oh God was me looking at the time. Wasn't anything to do with card making. I will kill this glue very soon, actually. Aha, uh -huh. I've got the goober right there. And the goober is hopefully found its way into the rubbish bin right there. There we go. Sometimes you think there's not a blockage and there actually is. Charmaine, I have to do something for you. I need to go and pick up the glue holders. You just reminded me. Without actually doing anything, I've paid for them. I just need... Oh, my dear word. 
I just totally messed that up. I just need to contact my friend and organise to pick them up. Once I get this piece on, I'll be happy. Right, because that is going to be the basis for everything coming off there. Okay. So we do want glue along all these sides. Great. And stop my trimmer and make sure we do have an even see not even I think I don't think I'm going to be able to put things on this I think I am going to have to just for ease my brain is definitely smash these up against each other otherwise I am going to go batty crazy. Okay. I'm just not going to get frustrated. Just do it the way it's designed. You can split these apart. I think the splitting apart would actually work better with the other one, which is all made up of triangles um, I think that would work smashingly which is I'll even show you which is this one I think that would work like really really well I just I think I'd need to do it off screen and just with scrap paper not with designer series paper now I'm going to have to put the tinsiest stop of glue right there and one down here I'm just going to hold these pieces because they are our free edges that really want to pop up yep this one next hey Shaz how are you Shaz, what time is it? Doing a welfare check. Shaz is in the UK, for those of you who are wondering why I'm doing a welfare check and wondering what time, what silly o'clock time she has woken up today. Okay, that still looks amazing all together. We can still see the blackberry through which is perfect and that's what we want and then we'll lift it um, by using the berry burst I was going to say the whole wrong color there now here I'm just going to be a little smarty and see if this works And guess what? It worked. Okay, so that is our full piece together. I do need... Yes, my nails do match fairly well, although they're about to change. And this is not... This is not straight. Oh, my God. It's not straight at all. Where's my trimmer? which is going to make for very, very interesting trimming. Just saying. Okay, well, I have that as a straight line, so that works. And I know where I had that lined up just there. Oh, no, I had it lined up even shallower than that. Damn. 
I don't, I'm hoping I will be able to Don't find me. Oh, yes, I was able to get a clean cut with that. That will do. Kind of, sort of. Look, it's um, handmade, isn't it? And then I've just got the tinsiest bit to take off this bottom edge really it is just it's just not quite that'll do not exactly how I wanted it but it will do okay so I don't even know what dimensions we have here. So we have 12 by 12 by 8 in a titch. 8.2. So I want to go 12 and a half. By eight point seven. Ho ho ho. He's actually really, really close. Look at me for having the right size scraps. Three thirty shares. Wow. Oh, hello, Joan. Sorry I missed you there. I was Corinne, but I couldn't line up. By bumping these out, it actually distorted the edges. Um, so you didn't have straight, you, your edges of the piece didn't line up properly. So I stopped doing that uh, once I realised. So if you did that, you wouldn't have these straight lines along the edge. Long and short of it, really. Okay, I am going to lay this down. Make decisions, good decisions. Perfect. I'm loving those two colours together. The um, Berry Burst just lifts that whole panel. Now, let's bring in our sentiment. So I'm going to push this off to the side, otherwise I know I'm going to knock it. So I was thinking of using the Happy Birthday in the Wanted to Say. And we have the holographic trio. So we've got this. We've got more of, oh, that looks a bit planety, which I'm kind of liking. And then we have the berry burst. But I'm thinking this one looks like the surface of a plant. So I'm liking that one. Oh, actually, I have all three pieces in 6x6 six six right here. So I will use that piece first. Put this back in. Pop these in without scratching anything. Perfect. Okay. Now, this is kind of the thing I wanted to check. Did we work out whether this was a full card base? I don't think I did. But I'm kind of loving it 
on the black. Tell me black, yes or no. So I want the bubble, which I'm thinking of using vellum, and then I want the happy birthday. And for this, I am actually going to be smart and use my um, my um, adhesive sheets. Oh, that piece might just be perfect. Always keep my off cuts. Um, this is old adhesive sheet that I had, but the new one just comes plain, but it's exactly the same. So I'm just trying to use up my older pieces. And that is pretty much six by six. So how this works is I am going to peel off this backing and it leaves I don't know how you to to that. good because I wasn't talking to you, Miss Siri. So it leaves a sticky back. Hmm. I don't have an answer for that. Is there Stop something else I can help with? Siri. I'm here. And I don't want you to be here. Okay. okay. So I have just covered the back with that. Not perfectly straight. That's fine and i am just going to cut off the edge yes black okay black yes black a winner awesome ah yes it could look like the northern lights coming we had the southern lights going um or the aurora australis i think that's what it's called that was um that was going berserk the other week. So I'm going to trim this down. So then I know trimmer is here. So then I know this whole piece is sticky. Now, I think we were saying that I'm hmm see this is what I'm trying to decide do I want the back of it to be or do I want the letters to be in the foil I'm thinking I want the letters so just go, just because oh no my big one's actually sitting here Let's move everything kind of out of the way. And I'll want the uh, shadow or bubble to be vellum. And I will cut that in a second. Okay, so will this, no, it won't fit that way. So we're going to pop it as far down. I don't want to waste any of this. So I go one way, then back the other. And I take this out. Just grab a scrap of vellum. I think I have one right here that should be big enough the only problem I'm going to have an issue with is what we're going to embellish with <gasps> I know we do have some almost holographic dots and I do have two colors that will work perfectly with this end I have the perfect one to go with the blue as well. Okay, so we have the bubble. I do have glue on my finger, so it's going everywhere. 
Yes. Uh, yes, I am in between uh, Sydney and Newcastle um, Shats. So I'm an hour south of Newcastle and I'm, a, I'm an hour and a bit south of Newcastle and an hour and a bit north of Sydney, if that's helpful. So I am near um, Gosford. I'm glad you agreed with letters, Brenton. Okay. Hopefully, yes, this stayed in there. I didn't want to lose our eye. Now you're going to watch me. Oh, why is there food on that? Now you're going to watch me struggle lining this up. But you're here to hold my hand and support me. So everything will be okay just don't want to lose any of these letters so that is nicely in here so we have our bubble i am just going to work on the silica mat so you can see what i'm doing now take your pick tool is going to be very very helpful here just using it to gently prise out our word so i am starting with the happy oh, looks fantastic because i got the um stargazing paper and went i didn't get the astronaut how am i ever going to use this um, I'm not making these for any particular uh, purpose uh, well hang on I am making them for a purpose but I'm not actually making them for a particular person but they would make fantastic teenager cards because for me they are the hardest to for sorry I am just trying to get this backing off and I'm clearly struggling with it come on really doesn't want to play ball we all know there's backing there because we saw me stick it on I've got it. Okay, so gently take that off. And that took any of the insides that I had missed. And now we use the bubble. And you do have a little bit of wiggle room which I didn't actually need at all so you can see that is perfectly on there now there are a couple of ways to adhere this you could cut this out of black cardstock and put the happy and the birthday on the back and have adhesive sheet on both sides I'm just going to use the tinsiest bit of our um, of our glue to tack this down to the card and by tack I do mean it here okay right I think it's lunch time for them not me I wouldn't leave you and eat lunch da, 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 da. please work for me I love these letters but I this must be the reason that I don't use adhesive sheets seriously because I love it it does an amazing job I struggle big time getting this off but we've got it now so sorry for that dead air so do just oh, look at that those insides are just 
popping out so well I think I lost our eye everyone oh no the eyes already attached the eyes the the oh what's it called it has a name and I cannot think of what the dot on the eye is called but it's attached oh um no well Shirley Sarah Lee is down the hill from my house it's not even at Wyong the factory is literally down the hill. Two, two minute drive from my house. And the factory outlet is even closer because we kind of have shops near us. Um, and that's where all the seconds go. And I purposely do not walk into that shop because that shop is incredibly dangerous because they do the best ice cream ever sorry i did go a little oh look at that with the oh that's so pretty okay pop this out of the way and we are going to pop this on the cart. Now, the embellishments that are most holographic and I thought would go really, really well. These are the assort, uh, Glossy Dots assortment. So the colours in this are Grape, Melon, Daffodil and Pool. But could they work? On here while I adhere the happy birthday it is it's gorgeous <laughs> yes exactly all oh, the dies have I noticed those dies Corinne maybe not maybe we will need to grab the um, catalog before we go and have a look ah yes see Leslie very close to my house but the factory outlet isn't on the grounds of the um, factory anymore like it used to be once upon a time. I remember going there with um, mum because my mum doesn't live far from me either. Just trying to get the thicker places where we can just put a dot. So this H is nice and wide we are definitely only making one but this will be my prototype for the rest of the cards that i need to make okay so loving this where are we on the embellishments guys i really do need your help okay flip this over and I'm just going to go right like that and I'm going to be really smart and put a block on it I'm just going to take a drink of water while you guys and I've just got to do my black card base as well So I've come into a thing at the moment where I'm definitely loving using more than one mat on a card. Definitely a thing. No, 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 no. And it's actually, um, they have more than just the Sara Lee stuff in there actually. Um, They've got quite a variety of stuff. They used to have a lot of clothing and bras and stuff like that. But um, they don't have that part anymore. So, yes. Oh! oh. <laughs> you guys, I just... I didn't think I meant, maybe I didn't say hello to Leslie, but I answered a question. 
So at the moment, uh, I have no screen to look at. My replay screen has decided not to work. Again, as usual. Okay, so that is closing nicely. That will be nicely adhered. We're going... Oh, I don't know if I like the black, but you all like the black. I just want to try something. I, I really have troubles in my brain using black. And I don't know why. I'm just going to put something out there. No, that looks even worse. No, 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 no. Just let me consult our colours again. What else was in there? Purple wise. Orchid Oasis? Oh, that's in the blue. Flirty Flamingo. I do not see Flirty Flamingo in this um, one. I do see Berry Burst and Blackberry Bliss. I want to add a layer of vellum. That's what I want to add. And then I think this little brain of mine will be a happy little Vegemite. Once I add that softness, I think it's just a little harsh at the moment. And that layer of vellum will just help me immensely. Yes. It just means we're not losing a lot of the pattern and the colour from the designer series paper comes through on the vellum. So that's why I use it, because it just works. Okay, now I've got to remember my measurements, which were, so I want to go 13 by... 9.2 by 13. I really didn't need that bone folder anymore anyway. <laughs> oh my dear word. Ah, yes. Bubble bath. Shirley, I am going to resist all temptations. Oh, can I resist it? No, I can't. I have no self-control when it comes to bubble bath. Absolutely none. I think I've used it or tried it in everyone. And I know it's going to look really, really pretty. Oh, my screen's back. Let's try Starry Sky. It's an amazing colour. I have a piece. Orchid Oasis... No, an Orchid Oasis does have more of a purple. <gasps> Good evening, Miss Cindy. How are you so Jody? You like the you like the um the bubble bath? Let me I think the orchid is going to cast way too blue. No. <sighs> Bubble bath for the win. It's the best colour ever. And I think I am still going to use um, my vellum. Just because it will add a layer of floatiness on it. So let me have a look. Yes. Just get that layer of floatiness. I like it. Sorry for all my black fans. It ain't happening. Not today. I think it'll work better with the blue. But not today. 
Okay, I need that one flipped up. Give this a score. Grey, yes, that could also work. I'm about like, oh, Dodie, really? Okay. You're a black fan, but <laughs> this is like seriously the perfect pink. So I'm assuming, mm, what are we using for these? Oh, I do need that. It fell on the floor. It's too far under. Owen, track pants are in the clothes basket, mate. You're not changing? No. Are you zipping up your... Yeah. Yep, yeah, cool. Okay. It's dark. Yes, it is. You're not putting on a shirt? No. No? Okay. I know. I don't want you to get a, um, a uniform detention, that's all. Hey, like Margaret. Let's like come upon a really strict teacher and nobody's going to do that. Yeah, true. That's exactly right, Shirley. We have used the um, the dark, the dark card front and just uh, the dark card front and the lighter just really, really lifts it. I do just want to burnish this one more time. Now, Lisa, have I missed any of your comments before we finish up today? Because I would have hated to have you to have said something and me to have missed it. Okay. So... People aren't a fan of these embellishments or we don't need them. What's happening? I just love them because they're holographic. That I've looked at them and I had trouble using them oh, far out. I had trouble using them last catalogue because I didn't think they went with the sweet that they were bought out with. They were meant to go with Huser Happiness and I never really thought they went all that well. No, it's crooked. I don't know if it's me. Okay. Take 5,000. Okay. That is much better. Okay, so I can do some try before we buy. So this is Mellon Mambo, but oh, oh, winner, winner. And then for the blue versions, I can use the pool. And then I probably just want one, probably a middle size one actually. A middle, no, definitely a big one. I know the pink isn't perfect, but I think we can get away with it. And take that one off and put a middle size one there. What are we thinking? Do we like Jody? Do you agree, my bling queen? Do we agree? There is not a stamp in sight. 
and I think next time when I recreate it, I will have this uh, Blackberry Bliss panel the correct sizing so then I can wiggle my pieces to be straight straight away. You know, you learn from the first time you make it. So I think they pop really well. The G, it definitely looks like what it's meant to look like. It does look spacey, but it's fun with the um, holographic trio, the glossy dots assortment. So for those who are wondering what we used, we used patchwork pieces. We used, and both of these die sets are standalone die sets. They don't actually go with any other products in the catalog. So we used patchwork pieces. We used Wanted to Say, and we used the Stargazing Paper and the Holographic Trio Paper. It pops love it yes the iridescent pearls would also look amazing they'd look like little stars so if i can't get this pool party to work with these blue pieces i may go for that pearl but i think just looking at it here this will go nicely with my blue pieces that i make as well so thank you all so much for joining me today i really do appreciate it i have kept to my time restraints owen is lurking ready to be taken to school to see his friends at lunch so i will leave it there i have shop link in the description box i also are oh, i have given the wrong class details i gave you the dainty delight class details when i wanted to give you the other ones deary 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 me i will update that very quickly uh before i go uh, just as i sign off i will add the beautiful balloons class uh, which is almost ready ten dollars australian for that class so if you did want to join for that class i uh, there are four cards and you get full video tutorials for the four cards as well as a project sheet with all products that I have used and dimensions that I have used in my cards. You girls know dimensions are not something that I give all the time because I generally make it up as I go along. So there is the link to register for my class. You can prepay your $10 and I will get it out to you this week because this week is still going. Oh, Shari, that'd be amazing. Enjoy the replay. Hello, Carol. Thank you, Doris. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Have an amazing weekend. And, oh, okay, no problems, Inca. We shall see you on the replay. Uh, thank you so much for joining right at the end anyway. And I will see you next Tuesday over on Facebook where we will be making something else. I'm not quite sure what we will be making at this stage, but I do have a lot of beautiful balloon leftovers. So we might jump in with the beautiful balloon, which I haven't shown in a live video yet. So come and join me on Tuesday over on Facebook and we will play with some leftovers. Have a great one. Bye.